welcome to another microsoft excel tutorials this very video we are going to learn how to create multiple folders using an excel data or using a worksheet that consists of our data in our excel program now this particular operation will be very helpful and also very convenient for any excel user because it has this simplicity feature to create your folders whenever you have available data in your microsoft excel application now as an employee or a secretary or whatever position you have in your institution if you are being opt out to create multiple folders for all the employees in your organization that is going to be a very tedious work because you have a very large number of employees maybe 20 25 in the organization and you have to create multiple folders for all these employees so that we can keep their records in such folder and if you want to use the traditional way of creating these folders then you have to right click on the desktop you choose new then you click on folder you get this icon you can type the first name of the employee you hit the enter key we also have some quick way of doing this you can use the keyboard shortcut Control shift n on the keyboard and this will also create a folder you type the next employee name you hit the enter key then you move on creating all this and if you have 20 25 30 names to type it's going to be a very boring operation because you know when it comes to using the keyboard we have some health hazards we encounter such as risk in so what we can easily do with this operation is to use the available data in our excel window so let's assume your boss or your manager brings this data to you and you are to look up to this employee name and create individual folders for these names let me show you this quick way and we are going to use a simple formula that is md and md stands for make directory and when it comes to computing directory is also known as a location a folder a storage medium where you can keep your sensitive files or information so let's see how to do this in excel select this colon after the employee colon right click and choose insert now we have this empty colon and this is where we are going to input our simple formula to generate these names so that we can create our multiple folders on the desktop so what you do is you select this cell that is next to the first employee then you type md then you hit your space bar and now we are going to open our quotation mark then let's type the name of the first employee we close it with another quotation mark and now let's hit the enter key on the keyboard so now that we have the formula effects for the first customer what we can do to generate the formula for the remaining customers is to select this cell and double click and when you double click you are going to have the same name for all these customers at the right bottom of this selection we have this button which is autofill options let's click on this button and this is going to open this options and we are going to select the last option which is flash fill and this will copy all the formula effects and generate the names of the employees another way to get this formula effect for the remaining customers is to select this first cell and drag it to the last cell of the last employee then you hold ctrl plus e on the keyboard and this will also generate this formula effect so now we have this selected the next thing you have to do is to right click on this and choose copy from the option now let's go back to our desktop on this desktop we are going to right click choose new and choose test documents from this side menu we want to create a notepad file for this operation now let's type a default name for this and hit the enter key open this file and we have this notepad window open we are going to paste the 
data from the excel into this notepad application you can right click and choose paste or you can click on edit and choose paste i like using my keyboard shortcut so i am going to hold control as vein on the keyboard and this is going to paste all this pressing or whatever formula we type in our excel worksheet now let's move to file and choose save now we have saved this document let's go to file and choose save us we have this dialog box and this is the file name for this notepad file and that is new we are going to maintain this and let's add a simple description that is dot cmd we want to create a command prompt file or a batch file out of this notepad file so now we can click on save and let's close this window now when you come back to the desktop we have these two files here this is our notepad file and this is the batch file we just created now to execute this operation by creating these folders on the desktop you just double click on this batch file and you can see this great magic we have all these folders which has been created perfectly using our data in our excel program and if manually you are to create these folders sometimes you might make a mistake along the way by typing a wrong name and also that is going to be a boring operation for you and if you have a well organized data in your excel you can use this operation to create your multiple folders on your desktop so we have all these folders well organized and you can see we have all this name and if you can count we have 3 3 9 13 17 21 25 so we have 25 folders created within a minute using excel and notepad application hope you like this video and that should trigger you to hit the like button and also bring in your comments in the comment section and i am ever ready to reply your comments i shall see you in the next video